Uh, my name is Sehini Karivasam. I I'm the author of The Chameleon. I started writing the book in 2015. It took about two years. Uh, what inspired me to write it was I had a dream with one of the characters. Uh, the, one of the characters of the book were in my dream. The Chameleon follows the follows the, a series of murders that occur in London, and it, the main character is a detective who who solves the murders and is joined by an ex-convict who helps him unravel the case. And from, uh, from there on I built the story around one of the characters and it eventually grew to a much larger story. I'm very happy that Fairway has selected my book to be part of this competition and I, and I really believe that being a part of this will inspire me to go further in my writing career. Hi, my name is Navin Viratna and I wrote Zelem. Um, Zelem is a book about a mosquito-borne infection that creates zombies that start to think and then try to take on Colombo. Uh, it was one of two books I submitted for the fairway this year. One I spent three years working on, the other I spent one month working on and wrote to promote the first book. And I wrote it as something to try and get local readers interested in my writing. I wanted it to be originally a free thing that I put on the internet and that was there to promote another book which I spent a lot, lot longer writing. I only spent one month working on Zelem. Uh, but Zelem was the one that got picked up for the shortlist. I wanted to talk about uh, dengue in particular because I think it's a very dangerous disease. I think that we're not taking it seriously. I have a friend who caught dengue three times and I don't know how that even happens. Right? People just don't take the disease seriously and it's a real public health threat to us. And it'll be one of many mosquito-borne diseases now which are going to be a problem for us that we need to take more seriously as Sri Lankans. Uh, they also de it also deals with women's rights and other issues that we have in this country, uh, treatment of minorities, single ethnic uh, violence with the Muslim community. And I thought this is a good vessel to talk about that. Because when we think of zombie books, it's very rarely to do with the zombies. Zombie movies and books are not about the zombies. It's about other issues. You use a zombie to talk about them. And that's what I did here with this. Hi, I'm Sandali and I'm the author of Rao's Guide to Lime Pickling. Um, I actually wrote the first draft to Rao's Guide uh, quite a few years ago. I had just got done researching Sri Lanka's conflict and for academic purposes and uh, I had a lot of strong feelings about what I had learned and my professor at the time actually suggested that I write something so that's how it started. Um, I really wanted to say something about how a country's future can be crippled by an ongoing conflict because of what it does to its younger generation, particularly its children. Um, that was the basis for my narrative. It follows a young boy growing up in the northern war zones at the same time I'm growing up in the South. Um, it was also an interesting writing experience for me because um, most of the authors that I love to read, they write these really long, complex, beautiful sentences and I would try and mimic that um, unsuccessfully. Um, but for some reason, when I sat down to write Rao's Guide, I wanted to see if I can do the opposite. Um, so I've been very sparing with my words and tried to keep my sentences quite concise. And that turned out to be a very interesting challenge and um, I'm really grateful for this experience of writing the book and publishing it because it has definitely inspired me to write more. I'm Charu Lata Abesekaratevaratantri and uh, Stories is a novel that I wrote. Um, it was it's, it came out of my childhood memories of my time that I spent uh, in my aunt's estate in Amitirigala. It was a rubber estate and paddy and everything around it. This book follows the story of a little girl who wanders the estate of her own aunt in Ratnapura. Um, her reality is very different to our reality. Uh, and um, this is the story follows her 
and what happens to her. Stories had so far uh, won three awards. It got the Creation Prize for 2016 in manuscript form and then it got uh, Godegay Literary Awards and um, State Literary Awards for 2017 and I'm very, very happy and um, I feel honoured that it has been shortlisted for Fairway as well.